Hello, it's Dr. Alex Popovich and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about Rome research again and what I have learned over the last week. Today I will be talking about the importance of backslash and importance of attributes and is there any difference between attributes and double brackets. If I push backslash now you can see a lot of different things that you can do in Rome. You can make it to do and the quickest way to do to do is actually not through backslash. You push command return and that will do that will make a to do. Here you can have a lot of things that you can access with a backslash. So page reference is same as double bracket and I think it's easier to do double bracket. Link destinations, current time. So for people who do notes and daily notes or meetings, they can put a current time. You can insert Pomodoro timer. Date picker. This is very good, especially if you're doing to-dos or something that's due on a certain date. So if you're writing something, I need to do this on 31st, so date, date picker. If you, after backslash, start writing the first two letters, it'll get automatically so date picker and then I can pick let's right, say it's due 31st so when you click on that page it will automatically make the page with that name and you there is a link what you need to do you can just put backslash today or tomorrow um, and do it that way when you start using backslash you have other options as well apart from the dates you can bold it italic highlight strike through you can put some code you can upload images and file and uploads the whole file so if i go back to this study page that i have here that i was but i only today imported this article and you can actually read it through this area which is quite interesting because in Notion, for example, often you can't read the file that's embedded or you have a link or you import it, import it into Notion. You can only download it and have it as a separate page. So I actually quite like this area of embedding the um, file. So if I go back and do the backslash, um, the other option, you can put Kanban board, which might be very interesting, a table, um, YouTube video, you can do a word count uh, of um, the page or the area. It's easier way to figure out the page word count, to be honest, is if you go to old pages and it will tell you automatically what the word count is within a page. You can do other things that I haven't yet terribly tried until I go a bit more into Rome research. Attributes is another thing and at the moment it's a bit similar to a hashtag or double bracket. So to do attributes you basically write the word and then you put the two dots. So if I do that, wait, and then let's say biking. This or oh, these are the attributes. That's the same as a hashtag. For example, if I click on it, it's done the new page. Where it's different, for example, if I wanna if I wanna copy that and put a page, um, let's say this date, and I'll write 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and then 20 minutes, and then I'll find August 16 page, and do the same. And put 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. If you want to make this into a habit tracker, let's say put it in here, habit tracker. So to make your attributes table, you do that. What you'll get, it's just because I have a space here. So it's ATTR-table, semicolon, space, and then double bracket is swimming because I had a space after swimming I had to um, put a space here if I didn't I wouldn't have to then close the brackets and finish this attribute stuff so if I click enter it will pull out 
everything that's associated with it, what date I've done it, so the page that it originated from, and how many have I done it with. So this way you can do the habit tracker in uh, um, Rome. Would I do this? Probably not. Uh, at this stage, I'm not sure how I can um, keep an eye how many dates I've done it. Uh, in total so it does it automatically so for example in Notion uh, the Notion can do this as a roll-up automatically for me so I can just see how many days in the last year I've done exercise every day if that's one of my tracker or uh, how am I am progressing with this goal here I can just see exactly the date so if I have 350 entries I will know exactly how many I've done. This may happen later on in a different video as I learn more about Rome Research, but at this stage I probably wouldn't use Rome Research as a habit track. This has been it for the basics. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to receive notifications about my future videos, please subscribe to the button below. Bye for now!